Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Pardon my very dirty glass. I just wanted to talk about enrichment for just a second. This will be quick. And how you don't always have to use toys for enrichment. I've just got a nice dubia roach on tongs here. And little blue is about to see it. Maybe. Hey, I got it. I got it. Yeah, there he comes. Come on. Look at that. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about this. Getting them to move, getting them to chase. I don't like just putting live dubia in there with him. So he doesn't get to like hunt as much as a real monitor in the wild would. Um, so I do this a lot. I'll bet three times a week I come in here and I really make him chase the roaches just off the tongs. So far, I, I know I, I might get a comment or two about this. I've noticed absolutely zero uptick in aggression from him. He doesn't come after me. He's extremely intelligent. He wants more. Let me grab another roach. A very, very, very smart animal. Very agile, very athletic. Come on, grab it, grab it. There you go. Look at him use that prehensile tail. Oh, just incredible. Anyway, so I really am in favor of enrichment. Um, we are planning some things, as I've talked about before, even with like our ball pythons that are in racks. I do not think that they get enough enrichment, even though we handle them quite often. I don't think it's enough. So we are planning some things for all of our reptiles, but for a super high metabolism, high activity, intelligent species like this, I, I think it is, it is essential to their happiness. And this is just one little tiny thing I can do, you know? Let him, let him feel like he's chasing it around. <clears throat> um, I, I want him to stay trim and athletic. Um, I want him to look like, or, or to feel like uh, he gets to use his athletic gifts, you know? Um, this is, this is a, an athlete as far as the reptile world is concerned. Um, and uh, anyways, I'm all distracted here because I'm trying to like one hand with the tongs to get roaches and the other hand I'm trying to make sure is actually focused on him. But uh, I wanted to, to bring this up because sometimes people think you have to spend money for enrichment. You know, you have to buy these random devices and tools so they have to be finding things or, or puzzles or whatever, and those things are wonderful. I, I love all of them, honestly. The entire industry of, of uh, animal enrichment is fantastic. But just keep in mind that enrichment does not fit into one easy to define uh, whole. There's a bunch of things you can do to make your animal's lives better. And I really think with a predator, allowing it to be a predator is one of those things. So I like to have my monitors chase the roach a little bit. And I think he enjoys it. I really do. Um, anyways, just wanted to get that on camera. I'm going to now have to go back and look and make sure I actually did get that on camera. And I'm going to finish feeding this guy. But I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, and I made at least a little bit of sense as I was kind of distracted here. I'm um, trying to keep the camera on Uncle Blue, on Little Blue rather. But uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.